Well, let's start ringside reaction by bringing you up to date with some of the action and fight results from the York Hall Bethnal Green on Saturday night in a matchroom fight pass show. Unbeaten welterweight puncher Ted Cheeseman dominated Victor Edaga, who lost a point for holding and did well to hear the final bell. Mickey O'Rourke and Danny Parsons went toe to toe at lightweight. Neither backed off, but O'Rourke took the decision after six. James DeGale's gym mate Jake Ball blitzed Mitch Mitchell in the first at light heavyweight. All action featherweight Reese Bellotti stopped Faikal Mesa Udine in the third, leaving his opponent cut and bruised. In the Battle of Unbeatens, Ben Hall was down in the first, then dropped Aston Jolly in the fourth in an eliminator at super welterweight before a cut forehead in the seventh halted proceedings. It went to the scorecards and Hall was ahead at the time of the stoppage. And in the main event, Johnny Coyle returned to the ring where he won prize fighter to beat AJ Fazy over ten well-matched rounds. Also on the same night in Manchester, there was world title action featuring Terry Flanagan and Liam Smith. Super welterweight Smith was really impressive, stopping the American John Thompson in seven rounds. The first of the brothers to rule the world. And Manchester's WBO lightweight champion Flanagan produced a dominant world-class display to halt Diego Magdaleno in just two rounds. This week it's all about the Welsh invasion in America with crucial nights for Lee Selby and Nathan Cleverley. Boxing just two days apart in fights to be shown live on Sky Sports in the early hours of Thursday and then Saturday morning. Selby makes the first defence of his IBF featherweight title against the veteran Fernando Montiel in Arizona. I'm, first of all, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm up against it. I've got a, a tough challenger, Fernando Montiel. He's a former freeweight world champion. I think he's had 60 fights, 56 wins and 40 KOs. So it's going to be a tough fight, but a challenge I'm really looking forward to. Traditionally, people have quite a soft first defence, but you're going over to America against a very established name. I, I, I want to make a name for myself. So fighting, out, fighting against an established fighter out in America, live on free TV, hopefully a, a good win over him will change my profile overnight. Then Nathan Cleverley takes on Andre Fanfara, the pole who stopped Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in a make-or-break fight in Chicago. It was a good performance. Um, the fight before that, you give Adonis Stevenson all the way to go. You knocked him down in the ninth round. Lost a close decision on points. He's a dangerous fighter. He's world class. And this is the fight I want to be involved in. It's a great fight, this one. And I'm really looking forward to it. It's a big opportunity for me again to, to get back on the world stage at light heavyweight. I just feel that my speed and movement will, will overcome from Farah. But he's, he's a strong fighter, good puncher, good direct puncher. He's a dangerous opponent, but I'm ready for it. And this Saturday in Birmingham, Sam Eggington defends his British and Commonwealth welterweight titles against Dale Evans. The Welshman who beat him in a prize fighter thriller a couple of years ago. Oh, that one takes out of him. Absolutely rock to his foundations. And then it empties it. Right hand for Eggington. It is a terror. St. Clair in Wales. Dale Evans. Then the attention switches to America and a virtually guaranteed unification war at middleweight between Triple G, Gennady Golovkin and Canadian David Lemieux. So we asked Martin Murray, who stood up to Golovkin for 11 rounds, who he's picking. I just think there's just a difference in levels and I think Golovkin's far too good and uh, far too strong at that way. At the same time, although most people think Golovkin will win, they at least think Lemieux will meet fire with fire and make it exciting however long it lasts. Yeah, well, well I think he should to be honest I think that's his only his only way of winning he, he punches extremely hard he's, he's very explosive um, so yeah I think that's what he's that's what he's got to do you know I think the only way he can beat him is by going meeting him head on and catching him with, with, with you know with a lucky punch but for me it's Golovkin all day. That's it for this week thanks for watching.